Chatting now with Noah Gregson, driver of the number nine JR Motorsports ride. And Noah, what a year 2022 is shaping up to be. Obviously, year four in the Xfinity series with JR Motorsports and some pretty uh, big news when it comes to the Cup series as well. We'll get to that in a second, but let's start with the, the Xfinity series and building off of last year in what can only be described as it's not how you start, but how you finish. That's right. That's right. Definitely last year we, we kind of saw that firsthand. And, um, you know, like you said, it's it's really shaping up to be an exciting season. We've made a little bit of change uh, with our team and um, have a new crew chief this year. Luke Lambert, he's coming over from the Cup Series and um, a couple other personnel within our team. But really, Luke's the biggest thing in, in trying to get to know him and, uh, you know, just kind of build each and every week and learn each other. That's the most important thing. And, my opinion and is having a good relationship with the crew chief and having good communication. So we're off to a good start. Uh, you know, for now, the season hasn't started yet, but uh, I mean, today we're down at circuit of the Americas in Austin, Texas, um, testing a car and, and trying to learn the road course better with the skip barber racing school. So, you know, just trying to learn each and every day and, and get better. That's what we're focused on this year is improving and uh, you know, finding our weak points and, and overcoming those. You talk about learning. What do you think you kind of learned the most last year through all that adversity really early in the season? You know, it was a struggle last year. We just had a lot of mechanical issues, failure on my part um, to execute. And, and it just didn't seem like for the first two thirds, three quarters of the year that, that it was going too good. Um, you know, not getting the finishes that we felt we were capable of. We always had the speed, but it always seems like there is something, but you know, we tried to, to focus on what we can do better and not dwell on, on the negatives, try and try and take those negatives and find out where we could be better. And that's what, that's what I'm really confident about this team is no matter how bad the week was before, once we landed um, back in North Carolina, after the races, we got off that plane, Hey, it's a new week. Let's reset and let's go back to war next weekend and, and focus this week going into the ne next weekend of, Hey, we got another opportunity here. And so, uh, bouncing back and, and being in, you know, places of adversity um, a couple of times through last season, must win situations and, and to overcome that, like we did at Martinsville, they lock us into the final four. That's what really showed the grit and the true passion of this team. And, uh, you know, I always believed in them, but, but that kind of kicked it up from 100% to 110% of, of just who we are as a team and how proud I am of those guys. A lot of attention right now in the racing world being put on the next gen car for the cup series, uh, which I think makes it even more important that you're kind of getting this part-time ride and this opportunity with college racing uh, simply because you're kind of getting in on the ground floor with a lot of these other drivers and you're going to be doing it on a lot of these intermediate tracks, which is really kind of the bread and butter of that series. So how big is that opportunity for you when obviously for this year, it's great, but when you consider your future and, and your aspirations. Well, it's a great opportunity to be a young driver like myself who I never thought I would I would have the opportunity to race in the Cup Series and now it's becoming a reality so very humbled to to be able to you know look at my name on the side of a, a Cup Series car but it takes a lot of hard work and a lot of preparation and you know College Racing is a great team and, and they have a lot of great people you know leading with Matt College and Chris Rice all the way down trickles all the way down so between the great equipment that they have and, and great teammates, AJ Almendinger, Daniel Hemrick, being able to work with those guys. Um, you know, we've beaten doors and, and rubbed paint over the years, and, and now we're, we're teammates. So they're great race car drivers, and, and I'm looking forward to, to learning off those guys and, and, you know, comparing and contrasting what we got and, and making ourselves better. So we're going to have to race against them on Saturdays and um, beat and bang there, but Sundays it's all teamwork. So it's a great opportunity. It's, it's going to take a lot of hard work. We have goals set in mind, you know, to start the season, we want to finish every race and, and complete all the laps. And then once we get a handful of races in, we can kind of start to reassess and, you know, make new goals. Hey, let's finish in the top 15. Let's finish top 10. I don't even know where I'll stack up yet. You know, never racing um, the next gen car. I haven't been behind the wheel of that. So there's a lot of question marks leading into the season, but Focus on the things that we can control is the most important thing in executing. Yeah, I think it's it's underplayed sometimes the importance of kind of team dynamics in what is largely viewed as an individual sport in, in NASCAR auto racing. 
Uh, but I really have always thought that team dynamics are so important when you're talking about uh, the camaraderie and the sharing of information, whether it be guys who are driving the same car like you guys are doing or looking at the Xfinity team with, uh, you know, your teammates on, on that end. What do you kind of feel is your opinion on, on the team dynamic side of it when, when you're talking about teammates who, yes, you're racing them for the win, but you guys are also all kind of working collaboratively towards one goal? Well, I think that's what's great about, you know, the teams that we're racing for, junior motorsports and, and college racing. From the outside in, I don't know how it feels, but inside, um, you know, being around it all day, every day, it's a family environment, especially at junior motorsports that I've found. Um, being there for three years now, it's a, it's a family environment. And in that atmosphere, I really strive and, and, you know, feel most confident and comfortable in. So, you know, we're, we're really excited um, to get the season fired off. We work really well together between myself, Justin Allgaier, Josh Berry, and Sam Mayer. You know, we meet every Monday morning for a competition meeting, talking about the, the prior race over the weekend and just comparing and contrasting and, and communicating, you know, we're all on the same page and, and working hard to make each other better. And you can push and, and try and focus on that and make each other better. And, and you're always chasing someone. So you might be the third best guy, fourth best guy one weekend and, and trying to learn off those guys and see what they do better. That's what's helped me quite a bit is, is utilizing teammates and then doing it on the cup side with Daniel Hemrick and AJ Allmendinger and Justin Haley. That's, that's going to help me out a lot as well. Yeah. It, it's always interesting to me that, that JR Motorsports stable that you guys got there, you've got a wide variety of uh, different types of drivers talking about Definitely. the really young up and coming guy and Sam, the, the former late model journeyman and Josh and uh, you and uh, you know, Justin just being up and coming guys who continue to move up the ranks and, and try to work their way towards that goal. Tell me about the, the guy who, uh, who leads that pack in, in junior and uh, just kind of what it's been like working with him. It's, it's always interesting to me because, you know, I listen to the podcast uh, with, uh, you know, the, the download and listening to, to his interactions with you guys because he kind of sometimes has to go on there on Monday and explain what happened on the Xfinity race on the weekend and just kind of how, how he dealt with it. And uh, it, it's been pretty interesting to listen to it from this perspective. Uh, from your side, what has that relationship been like? Well, I want to I want to let you know one thing. Josh, Sam, and I are up and coming. Justin's a grandpa. I like he's, it. He's going to have grandkids soon in the next few years, probably. He's already got a lot of gray hair. So, um, you know, Dale Jr. He's he's been a great mentor and a friend to myself. He's he's helped me tremendously on the racetrack, but I think even more as as a person away from the racetrack. And he's been a a great friend and a mentor there, and you know, helping me. Um, you know maybe I'll get discouraged um, throughout the season and just lifted my spirits up. So he's given me a lot of great advice. I mean, I don't know anybody better. He's a, he's a hall of famer, but more, most importantly, he's an even better guy. And so he always takes the time to, to help us out. He's a little, um, he, when he goes on to the, the broadcast, he always tells us, man, I can't be biased towards you guys. So, um, but he'll tell us Monday morning if he thought something's good or he'll shoot us a text after the race, which is cool. But yeah, it's, it's great to be able to, to drive for Dale Earnhardt Jr. And, and Kelly and LW. They're, uh, they're just great people. And uh, it really starts from the top down over at Junior Motorsports of just that family atmosphere. And, um, you know, they want to win races. And, um, you know, I'm lucky to be in surroundings of, of great drivers like Sam Mayer, Josh Perry, and and Justin Allgaier and being able to lean on those guys too. Even if he's a grandpa. Yeah, he's great. He's old. He's senile. Um, he's getting a little slower as the years go on, I've noticed. But yeah, it's, it, he still has a few tricks up his sleeve. Noah, thank you so much for joining us and uh, good luck this upcoming season. Thank you. I appreciate it.